I myself received the training at the same time as the teachers did, so I also wanted to look for opportunities to use uh, the integrative thinking and design tools in my own workplace. Um, so one of the problems I came across was uh, I was with a staff this year who'd had, uh, in their intermediate division, they'd had Rotary for many years and really loved the model of Rotary, the expert teaching the, to their passions. And this year they had, the, the model of, for Rotary had, had been uh, lessened to the point that they only went out for one or two subjects. Uh, so, the, um, so the staff were unhappy about, about the change. And um, I'd heard about it many times in conversations through the year. So uh, we looked at, we, we thought this would be a great wicked problem to deal with. How, would, how could we come up with a made in our school uh, solution to, to the rotary or no rotary debate? Uh, so we, we, we framed two models, neither of which were possible. One model, which was in opposition to the other, was that uh, students would be in Rotary all day. They'd never have the same teacher, and that would never happen. So, so that was one model we, we looked at. And the opposable model was uh, with the same teacher all day long for everything. Um, and neither, neither model would be palatable to the teachers that were involved. Uh, because some were, had very strong beliefs in in how they wanted things to be, so we looked we made we looked at those two models and we defined uh, what those models looked like. So we all come to a common understanding of what either of those un, un, unpalatable models would look like, um, and uh, tried to always look at them from a, a, a po through a positive lens. We tried to describe them very neutrally at that point, so there was no judgment involved in how we defined the models. And from then we gathered who our stakeholders would be. And again, we looked at uh, students, uh, teachers, and, uh, and our larger community. And how would they benefit from the model whereby students had an expert teaching them in a different class every day, uh, every period, and then one teacher all day. And we looked at the benefits to each of those stakeholder groups in, in both models. Um, and at that point, we had to only look for positives, so we couldn't Bring, and we, we couldn't bring our negative thinking because we know that when we think negatively, we, we, we shut down creativity. So uh, as we came up with our different benefits, we, had, we did this in small groups. We had four small groups working together to define the benefits and then brought that together as one collective group because uh, there are about 15 teachers there. Um, and we then together collaboratively looked at uh, what connections did we have that that we, we could bring from one model to the other opposable model because we did start to see some themes. And in doing so, what we did was we extracted what we truly valued about teaching middle school students. And um, we came to understand that we really truly valued relationship building, that we knew that that was critical to, to students being successful in middle school. But we also really wanted them to gather uh, really good teaching with teachers excited about the passion they had for subjects. So uh, we, we did that collaboratively in teams and we met on our own time uh, during nutrition breaks over the span of three sessions. Um, some of my teachers had had some training so they, they co-led so they could practice using the tools. Uh, in between the sessions that we met where we were working through this opposable model the teachers in middle school, some of them went back to their classrooms and ran the exercise through with their students who had had Rotary and then no, limited Rotary to see what it is they valued and what model would they construct if they wanted a voice in constructing, um, uh, constructing a new model. What the process did um, as we worked through it up until the design stage where we would develop our new model, uh, what it did was it it gave the students, and I gave myself an opportunity to practice using the, the, the opposable mind uh, pro pro model. Um, the teachers, it gave them an opportunity to try it in their classrooms with a tangible problem, a real life problem. It gave students voice in uh, trying to construct ideas and solutions together and, and discerning their value in, in the problem. And uh, it brought us together as a team, so we had a common problem. Uh, we felt that we were working together through something to come up with something better for our students. So that, although we never got to the design stage whereby we came up with our own solution, we now have the raw data and the material to really come to a bigger uh, discussion about uh, how do we best serve middle school learners in our school. 
and I think the, the teaming and the learning and the talking and the looking at things through a positive uh, lens has really helped build uh, this team of in, inter intermediate teachers so that they now can work through this problem more deeply with a better understanding of all the variables. They really valued the disciplines that they teach and because they're so passionate about the science or they're passionate about how phys ed should, or music, they all came with their own passion for uh, making sure students got the best that they could possibly deliver. Uh, that was something, in hearing that, in, in the group hearing that from each other, they had never done that before. So they came to a better understanding of the Rotary teachers' uh, view of how things should be. And I think the teachers that do do Rotary in the, in the limited rotary they have, they got to understand what the, the, the child better in terms of that we, we have to really put the child at the center and, and build relationships with those children. So the, the, the second part was really that, that piece, that to know the whole child. When you see the child in phys ed, it might be a child who's more, has more efficacy in, in, in moving than they are at solving mathematical equations. Um, so we, we came to an understanding that we had to build a model that gave both of those elements uh, voice and, and uh, importance.